Welcome to Monmouth College. As you'll see during your tour, when you attend Monmouth, you'll have access to some of the best athletic facilities in the Midwest. This is the Huff Athletic Center. The 155,000 square foot facility is the center of student recreation on campus. Opened in 2003, this $22 million complex is actually three different buildings combined into one sensational sports, recreation, and fitness center. It incorporates features of the original gym, built in 1925, with Glenny Gymnasium, which was added in 1983. It houses the athletic department offices, as well as classrooms, a training room, and locker facilities on the lower level. As soon as you enter the Huff Athletic Center, you'll be greeted by a spacious concourse that overlooks the Pepper Natatorium, Glenny Gymnasium, and the Niblock Track and Fieldhouse. The Pepper Natatorium houses an eight-lane, 25-yard competition pool and includes a steam room and sauna. A viewing gallery offers plenty of seating to view the Fighting Scots aquatic teams in action. Fans frequently line the upper-level concourse to view meets through floor-to-ceiling windows that offer a full view of the action below. Glenny Gym received a makeover as part of the construction of the Huff Athletic Center. The gymnasium sees action in the fall when the Fighting Scots' extremely successful volleyball team takes the court. Coach Kerry Shimon is the winningest volleyball coach in Monmouth history. Fans pack the stands when Shimon's spikers hit the court. Men's and women's basketball also call the Glenny Gym home. With multiple NCAA tournament appearances, men's basketball has one of the longest and most storied traditions of all Fighting Scots athletic programs. The women's basketball team made their first NCAA tournament appearance in 2012. The 2013 squad built on that success, earning the Scots their first national ranking. One of the first athletic facilities you'll notice as you arrive at the northwest corner of campus is the Monmouth College Tennis Stadium. The $1 million facility has six lighted courts, terraced seating, and a gazebo overlooking much of the north side of campus. Since its completion in 2002, the courts have seen plenty of quality tennis. In 2011, the men's team received a national ranking for the first time in school history. April Zorn Memorial Stadium, home to the Fighting Scots football and outdoor track and field teams, seats more than 2,600, and it's packed on Saturday afternoons in the fall when the Fighting Scots take the field. Work began on the $4.6 million stadium in 2008 adding new stadium and terrace seating, as well as a new press box, complete with a president's suite and broadcast booths, assuring fans around the world would be able to follow their Scots. A year later, the playing surface at Bobby Wall Memorial Field received new field turf to ensure good footing regardless of the weather. In 2010, a new scoreboard and video screen were added, providing instant replay of the Scots' big plays. Fans saw plenty of big plays in 2005 when the Scots made their first NCAA playoff appearance. In 2008, the stadium played host to Monmouth's first home NCAA playoff game. The stadium and field weren't the only areas at Zorn to get a new look. The eight-lane all-weather track was also resurfaced and is home to the most dominant men's and women's track teams in the Midwest Conference. The Scots have won more than 70 conference team championships since the early 1980s. Opened in 2000, the $1.3 million Peacock Memorial Athletic Park is just a short walk from campus and is home to the Fighting Scots baseball and men's and women's soccer teams. The men and women each have their own separate soccer fields that feature finely manicured natural grass, making them among the best grass fields anywhere. Fans sit in the stands or spread a blanket on the ground to watch the Scots on the pitch. The Niblock Track and Field House is one of the busiest places on campus. This multi-purpose facility boasts a 200-meter track, throwing rings for indoor shot put and weight throw, a dual tunnel batting cage for softball and baseball, and four multi-use courts for tennis, volleyball, and basketball. Fans line the upper concourse to watch the highly successful Fighting Scots Track and Field program which has produced at least one All-American every year since 1985 and has had no fewer than eight national champions. The squad takes full advantage of the indoor facility in January and February before heading outdoors in the spring. When Mother Nature doesn't cooperate, the men's and women's tennis teams use the field house for their meets 
as well as practice. Four tennis courts allow the squads to play and practice regardless of the weather. Baseball, softball, and men's golf also take advantage of the facility for spring practice until the weather warms and the squads can begin outdoor practice. Once outside, the softball Scots play on what was once the baseball field. Reconfigured in the late 1990s, the softball diamond is nestled between April Zorn Memorial Stadium and Graham Residence Hall. The field is just a short walk from the Huff Athletic Center and a foul ball away from Graham Hall, where students can often be heard cheering on the team from their second and third floor windows. The baseball team will be making a pitch instead of playing on it just to the west of the soccer fields. One of the best Division III baseball fields in all of the Midwest, Glasgow Field played host to an NCAA regional tournament just two years after its dedication when the Scots won their 15th conference title. With a high-capacity drainage system, rainouts are nearly unheard of. Fans often bring a grill and hold cookouts during Scots games, making for a fun atmosphere. To the north of the baseball and soccer complex lies Gibson Woods Golf Course, home to the Fighting Scots men's and women's golf teams. Nestled within the city park, Gibson Woods is aptly named, with old growth trees lining most of the fairways. Gibson's 18 challenging holes are guarded by strategically placed bunkers and just enough water hazards to make you bring your A-game. Fighting Scots meets at Gibson Woods often include the college's bagpipers, signaling the opening of the competition. You've seen all the great venues for competition, but the one athletic facility that gets the most regular use is the Trotter Fitness Complex inside the Huff Athletic Center. Available to the entire campus community, this popular facility retains some of the distinctive architectural details of the original gym. The original massive entry columns still frame the doors to the fitness center off the main concourse, while inside, exposed steel trusses installed in 1925 still support the broad ceiling. Once fitness-minded individuals take their eyes off the stunning architectural features, they can get in shape on the numerous aerobic bikes and treadmills. For more strength and endurance, the fitness center offers resistance training stations and free weights. You can even be paired up with a fitness assistant to chart your progress. For those with a little more adventure in their heart, you can try out the climbing wall. If you'd like to learn how to become a fighting Scot and take advantage of all of Monmouth's first-class athletic facilities, fill out the Recruit Me form on the web or give the admission office a call at 1-800-74-SCOTS. We believe you'll be glad you made the decision to become a part of the continuing proud tradition of fighting Scot athletics.